All right, so before we start the video, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I have some really big news of a competition for you guys, the viewers. And it's a pretty fun competition that I think you guys are going to want to be a part of. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right in to the video. And welcome back to Triple Threat Weekly. Um, so today I have kind of a special Triple Threat Weekly for you because yesterday I was not able to do my annual Wednesday video. Um, so this day, today, you will get one extra question or one extra part of a segment. But without further ado, I'm Alan and let's get right into the video. First off is a segment I'm not sure if we've done before yet, but it is stuff going on with me around my life. So recently I've been trying intermittent fasting, which is not eating until the afternoon, skipping the whole breakfast brunch thing, um, and, and not eating until like noon or one o'clock because it's supposed to help boost muscle growth. And I'm trying to do that to build my legs back up stronger. So, yeah, I will probably make a video in a month or two and let you guys know if it worked or if uh, I haven't seen any results yet, but without further <laughs> let's go. Alright, so Q&A for this week, we have two of them. The first one comes in from Eating Up With Curiosity, which is, what is the worst thing I have seen during the game? And I gotta say, hands down, it's probably Ricardo Lockett laying motionless during his injury um, at the Cowboys game a couple years ago. And man, that was the scariest thing I've ever seen because the way he got hit, it, it was just, I thought he was dead. Even the announcers thought he was dead on the field. He was motionless. I think it was like 20 minutes before the game commenced after that and it was it was scary. If you guys haven't seen it and you would like to see it, I'm putting a disclaimer, Watch it at your own risk, it's kind of brutal. Um, but I will leave the link to that video in the description. Along with Eating Up Curiosity's channel, ESPN, and you know, the usual. But, yeah, the second question comes in from a pal, Logan. Um, and that would be, who do I think got the better end of the Kawhi Leonard trade? Ooh! Um, honestly, I think it's going to be the Spurs because, man, that's one good point guard, I'll tell you that. But I don't know. Kawhi is a great player, um, but I'll tell you this, if he doesn't want to play or he has a bad day, he ain't going to do any productivity. But yeah, so let's get right into the third and final part of the video. And yeah, so the third part is actually a new segment called... Um, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. One of the one of the names I thought about is Incredible Stories, but I'm not sure. So it is, of course, um, Isaiah Thomas. So Isaiah Thomas, about a year, a year and a half ago, something like that. Um, right with the first, right before the first start of the uh, postseason started, his younger sister China unfortunately got into a car accident and died and it was such a brutal thing everyone is everyone's now talking about it all over the news on how he was he was kind of um, wronged by the NBA because of the system but he ended up playing with hip injury and while grieving and putting up a ton of points and a ton of numbers to, to help the Celtics at that time, but it was just a hard thing to watch. Me, it, it, it's just a difficult thing to watch someone in pain going through that. But it was an incredible story overall of, of how much he went through to play and to, 
to show tribute to it. In the, I'll give respect to the NBA, or all around the NBA, all the teams acknowledged China's death and what they thought of it and their condolences to Isaiah. But when that happens, it's just so tough, man. It, it really is. But, yeah, let me, let me know if there's any ideas you guys have for segments, parts of the show. And, yeah, let's get back into the bonus part of the video. Alright, so as I stated at the beginning of the video, I am creating a little competition for you guys as the viewers. So what I want you guys to do and how it's going to work is you guys are going to go down in the description and comment and let me know which one of my videos you have liked the best. And I know you guys are going to like a lot of them, but try to narrow it down to one or two and name the reasons why you like them. And so I will go down and choose a random choice and uh, I'll pick a random person and they will get one free video of a player that I will do a review on. Any player in the NBA or the NFL that I can find some info on, I will do a review of them and it will be completely their choice. So I know, I know everyone's going to be ecstatic and want me to do a Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, whatever. Well, what I'm saying is if you guys want and whoever wins, they can choose Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, you name it. I don't care. Any NFL, NBA player, I will do it. No hockey, baseball, football. Well, no, no hockey, baseball, golf, stuff like that. That doesn't count. But I'll tell you this. All you need to do, I'll clarify. All you need to do is go down in the description and this will only go on for two weeks. Two weeks, I'll tell you. In the next two weeks, you get have to go down in the description and comment and let me know what video you liked of mine and the reason why. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is to so I know what kind of videos to make for you guys. So it's not just about making getting a free video of whoever you want. It's also going to affect in return the outcome of some of the videos you guys are going to get. So yeah, think carefully. And as always, it's been That's Number One with Alan. If you guys have any ideas for any of the segments for Triple Threat Weekly, let me know in the description. I love feedback. Even if it's negative feedback, okay, it's fine. But yeah, make sure to keep it civil. And I'll see you guys in the next video.